I lost sight of the afternoon. It's going to be a little arena rock number called Exterminator. Boys, are you ready to rock arena style?
the tremendous can see us again sometime at the lounge June 19th. Reporting live from Porterdale, Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. Okay, thank you very much, Sharon. Star Wars The Phantom Menace is a mainstream commercial movie, but a local neighborhood set just outside of the mainstream is just as taken with this mega hit as anybody else. A little Five Points record store owner grabbed up some singers, guitar players, and even found a drummer to form a temporary out-of-this-world band. One, two, three, four. Darth Vader left the movie set and he stopped in Little Five Points today and added more color to a neighborhood already rich in the unusual. This man in black laid down the laser gun to sing with the part-time local band Grand Moss Tarkin. I think Darth Vader was made to sing with the band. Uh, any way you can get off this planet, I figure, has got to be a good thing. Well, good thing it was hot outside because the Go-Go Girls wore a little less than the rest of the band, like the drummer who was stuck with a headpiece as big as a cymbal. Criminal Records brought the band in as a tribute to the Star Wars prequel, The Phantom Menace. I'm glad that uh, we all grew up as kids loving Star Wars so much, and uh, it's just bringing a new, uh, letting the kids of today rock out. And the kids did rock. About 100 people danced in a sticky, sticky afternoon while this band sang in a very hot other world costumes. It's killing me. I'm dead right now. I don't sound it, but I am dead. <laughs> okay, don't expect a CD release party or anything like that because they sing Star Wars music. There are co copyright issues. It was all just for fun. Well, if you managed to catch the